They got stupid air. Today we got a look at a new goofballer. That's right, we got a new tier two premium out in the shop today. It's called Badia. It's a British destroyer. You saw our vine build there. We did put the prop mod on after this game. This was my first game in it. Of course, I never remember to put the mods on whenever I get a new ship from Wargaming. Uh, this one, how do you get it? You're a PlayStation Plus member. You got the Xbox internet subscription on your console. Either of those will qualify you to get this for free. You got to go to the console store itself, okay? So if you got PlayStation, go to the PlayStation store. If you got PS5 like me, uh, you can just access all the bundles directly from the game menu. Those of you that have that console know what I'm talking about. And then same thing with Xbox. Just go to the the uh, the console store itself. Not, I don't believe it's in the game anyways. Uh, but in addition to this being for free, you get commander crates. I think it was three of them. And there was other goodies too. Boosters, maybe. I can't, I didn't take that look, that close of a look at the package. I just got it uh, upon seeing it. But I actually had already had the Medea. That's right. I woke up this morning notification on the phone from discord saying uh message from community contributor uh director all the goofballers now part of the navy okay so we got the mikasa we got katori strozavoy i haven't played yet um this one was in there and i think there's one or two others that i haven't had yet so what I'm thinking about doing, maybe after work one night this week, you guys let me know in the comments if this would be interesting to you. Maybe just playing all these tier 2 goofballers, and then we'll kind of do it like we would do our member streams. How this works is we got a website that's kind of a universal clock. doesn't matter where you are in the world, it'll still show the same exact time. And then we would just say, okay, everybody go at 5 after, you know, for instance. And then everybody kind of clicks in at the same time. That way we can all get in the same game. So everyone who would be watching the stream could essentially be getting in these games. It's pretty easy to do a tier two. Um, you know, just because there's not that many people seeking these games usually. Of course, if we had a stream with a bunch of viewers, it might be a little bit harder to get in the games than they are in our member streams. But that's an idea I'm kicking around. You know, maybe it would have to just be a night that I'm not feeling too tired after work and kind of in the mood to uh, do some goofy ships like this. But there's a lot of fun tier two premiums out there. So uh, you guys let me know in the comments if that interests you. So Medea, you can see here, we got the single launch torps of the Brits, um, non-British smoke. Okay, so we don't have like six smokes with, uh, you know, a minute duration or whatever they typically are it's just a more standard smoke <clears throat> looks to be probably about american i'm guessing due to the fact that there's a minute 30 left on it probably started with two minutes uh that would be an american type smoke and you can see there uh, we took out that tier two german cruiser who was kind of rushing us hit him with a single torp to start and then peppering his nose these guns were able to Penetrate the nose, do some damage there, or explode with the HE anyways. Uh, Svetlana, look at these moon shots coming in here. Basically, these things will act like your teammates. They actually leave the Earth's atmosphere, uh, and then will <laughs> drop down upon re-entry and just kind of land right on these things from above. Uh, this is kind of like the Smith or Atlanta, you know, these low-caliber floaty guns at long range. They're kind of fun to fire, uh, but they're pretty reliable. Okay, so I played five. Oh, here's a classic uh, low-tier play. We got a suicide rush that didn't pay off there. Uh, but yeah, Mikasa, I played that one five times. I think my personal damage record so far is about 25,000. Okay, and maybe 20 hits. I don't know. I got a few games saved there. I don't know if I'll do a video on that ship or not, but this one, this is the first game, and we shatter the Mikasa's damage record <laughs> right off the bat. So this one's actually a fairly effective uh, Tier 2 ship. Uh, in and of itself and here we're on the map polar by the way we don't really see this too often in videos we'll pop this up uh it'll show up on stream once in a while when we're playing like an oleg or angry bluebird or whatever else uh so yeah we're continuing to uh look for shots here svetlana we noticed was low he was backing up he's a little bit easier to hit than these destroyers at long range destroyers aren't the easiest to hit at long range anyways and then when he got really high floaty calibers like this that nah, could be a little bit difficult so we're experiencing the uh, the firing uh, visibility penalty at the moment. We can see Twist and Track where the closest destroyer is most likely. And there's also a carrier here. Now note we are down a ship, but we do have two caps. They got none. So we're feeling pretty confident in the game situation. I'm 
playing this like that battleship is active, but I th actually think he's AFK here. And then the Hermes, the tier 3 uh, British uh, carrier coming in here. Check the range of the uh, torps if you don't realize that if you hit your start button or whatever it's called these days. Uh, you can actually pull up the menu with the stats there. And that'll show you the range of the torps, so it's always good to check that if you're not familiar. And here we got the torps loose and then the Wickus coming in hot. I believe that's the tier 2 regular tech tree British destroyer if I'm not mistaken. Now uh, we got him burning, we got his am engine damaged here. He's in a bit of trouble. He does have the other destroyer coming in hot and we're kind of watching him just as much as we're watching this one. Noticing, I didn't see him shoot. That doesn't mean he did or didn't. But I'm assuming as he was driving by there, he's probably got some torps down there. Going for the double strike here. We got the Wickus and now the Barask. Oh, come on, man. Need the double strikes. And we got a torp hit on the carrier as well. So I'm thinking, all right, well, maybe we can get another uh, double strike. But no, we only got the one torp hit on the Hermes. And he's looks like he's actively uh, piloting his ship here at this point in time because the... He is changing direction, so he either pulled up the uh, big map screen and changed his auto direct point, which of course will turn him a little bit, or this just looks more like standard uh, joystick movement at this point in time. But he does have planes active. Uh, at that point in time, I realized the battleship was uh, AFK, and I was like, well, man, we were in the torp range here, uh, but he doesn't have enough HP to really make it worth our while. So since it's just between these two ships here, we'll go back to focusing on the Hermes. Who is actually playing the game and actually is a bit of a threat there. That battleship in the back providing a little bit of spotting. But other than that, of course, he's not doing uh, much to affect the game here. So trying to get some shots on the Hermes here. And we're about up on the Torp reload. Now we'll see an option you have. You know, people talk about wide spreads, kind of mixing them in with narrow spreads. Uh, sometimes I'll do that with the British destroyers. And then... The difference is the widespread is a single launch and then the or the quote-unquote widespread is like a normal uh, launch and then the single fire launch is the other option of course so you're still getting pretty tight spreads with your so-called widespreads with the Brits. Uh, but you can see here he's actively trying to dodge there and it's just a really tight grouping that he's gonna have a hard time uh, avoiding so go ahead and check that one out in your console store pick that up for free if you're subscribed to the internet services, that's going to do it for that one, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Questions, comments, leave below. Love to hear from you, and we'll see you all later. Peace.